I'm used to buying them on like Forever 21 or, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I sound like a chain smoker today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, I'd like to apologize for not posting the past week, so Monday and Thursday and Monday of this week. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on it, but I've just been a little over exhausted. Um, I am currently working two jobs and, you know, having to film and edit these videos myself, posting twice a week is probably not realistic for me. So I will probably be posting once a week and I haven't quite decided what day of the week that's gonna be. Most likely I'm guessing Fridays or Thursdays since I have Thursdays off right now. And well, not off, but not a full eight hour shift. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it won't be every Monday and Thursday at this point, but um, I wanted to thank you all for your continued support and let's get on with the video. So today we are going to be doing a unboxing slash unbagging of Whitney Simmons Gymshark collection that just came out um, just a couple days ago. I think it came out on the 29th. Um, this sale was insane. So uh, it wasn't a sale, sorry. Uh, this release was insane. It was not on sale. It was not the cheapest. And the amount of people that went on the website and crashed the website, Gymshark, whenever they have a sale or whenever they have a new release, it's nuts. So, so many people flock to the website worldwide. And the moment you add something to your cart, it's not guaranteed that you'll have it. So have in mind what you want. You put it in the cart and you hope and pray that you get it. And once you press checkout, <clears throat> you stay there and the page buffers and then other people have that thing in your in the cart and if they check out before you you could lose items in your cart it can be extremely discouraging for those that wait hours and hours for that that release to begin and they have all the things they want in their cart and then they don't get anything because other people buy it before them so i was fortunate enough to get a couple items through this release and i just wanted to do a unboxing first impressions and try on for you guys just so that you can see what my initial reaction is how it fits on my body and the sizes that I got and I'll also keep you guys posted on what the prices were that I bought them at which are more than I normally spend but I know I'm a huge supporter of Whitney Simmons I uh, use her alive fitness app I watch her YouTube videos and I know that she wouldn't put something forth without it being the highest quality so Let's get started. So this is truly a first impressions, first unboxing. I've not opened this. I've had it for two days and I've just been too busy to even open it. So let's see my first reaction. I love Gymshark's packaging. I like the little like kind of matte bag on the outside. It is the unbleached recovery hoodie. So the unbleached is a cream white color. It's very soft. It's not as buttery as people made it seem, but this is probably more of like a post or pre-workout kind of cover-up sweater. It's soft. It's more of a cottony feel than like a moisture wicking feel. Um, unless it was really, really cold, I probably wouldn't wear this during my workout. This one was $45. A little bit steeper than I would like to pay for a crop hoodie. I'm used to buying them on like Forever 21 or, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I sound like a chain smoker today. Oh, but the detailing that she has is stunning. So if you see here on the sleeve, it says Whitney Simmons and it's in like, like a plastic raised, like, I feel like this would be someone who reads Braille's dream because this just feels so nice, but it's a nice little raised thing that says Whitney Simmons on it. I wish it had thumb holes. I'm a huge fan of thumb holes. Let's see. Okay, that's cute. Hmm. Let's see. That's what it looks like on. Um, it's cute. I normally wouldn't pay $45 for this, so we'll see how I feel about it and whether or not I want to return it or maybe reach out to one of my I call them sisters or the other girls on the Alive apps um, 
we have a Facebook group page for everyone to just kind of have a community that those of us that use the app and kind of have like a sisterly advice kind of um, area and safe place for everyone to talk. So maybe I will reach out to someone who may want this more than I want it. Moving on, we have the Whitney sports bra in pink haze. This one was this one was $40 for a sports bra, which is a little steep for me personally. Um, it is really nice material. It's a really pretty pink color. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to buy her sports bras was this back detailing. Super pretty, super cute. I personally like the gold ring to show up a bit more. So it's probably going to be the one like this once I put it on. Um, it's just a super pretty detailing. And from what I heard, it makes the girls look good. So let's see how that looks. Wow, look at the detailing on this. So one of uh, Whitney's slogans is, it's a beautiful day to be alive. That's why she has her Alive app. And just very, very, very faintly on this left-hand shoulder, it says, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Such a cute little detail there. And then also on the left-hand side, here we have the Whitney Simmons raised logo. Let's try it on. So I bought this in a size small. I can range anywhere between a small and a medium depending on the brand. I could have definitely gotten a medium in this for right now, but I am in the process of losing weight, so I'm not too scared about this being a little bit too tight. It is squeezing the girls a little bit. Um, let me show you guys. So it does look flattering, but it's still like a little bit too tight, like it's indenting right here. The back detailing, super cute. Love the back detailing, but you can see I have a little back fat right here but overall super cute I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it yet I don't know I'm still like it's nice it's super soft and it's 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 great support that's for sure so I like this one a little bit more than I liked the hoodie but they're also two different items so I can't really compare uh let's move on moving on we have the same bra I'm already wearing the Whitney bra in unbleached which is that white cream color that you saw in the hoodie this was one of one of the main reasons i wanted to shop this release i was so sad there was a pair of joggers that she came out with that were paper bag style at the top they were like very loose but like you can also tighten them with the drawstring and they were tightly fitted on the legs it was like a legging jogger and that one sold out so quick i had two of them in my cart and i didn't get them and that was like kind of the main reason I even went on the sale so or not the sale the release and I'm not gonna lie I did a lot of impulsive shopping because I was like oh I'm not gonna be able to get these and knowing realistically how much I normally spend I don't know whether or not I found it worth it but we'll see after I go over all the pieces so this one is the unbleached bra or an unbleached same detailing same colors as this one and let's switch them out so i love this color like it's just a beautiful ivory cream white and yes it's a little bit tight right now as you can see it's like indenting into the girls but um and you can see a little bit of the padding unless i move it correctly but that's the kind of thing you get with white bras is that you can usually see the padding um the back just as pretty look how gorgeous that that detailing is um, it does have really, really great support. Like I said, with the pink one, I could probably wear a medium and be fine. This is a little bit tight, but like I said, I'm trying to lose weight and I do lose it in the girls a little bit, so I'm not too worried. And it's just really nice and supported. Um, thinking about it now, probably gonna keep this bra and keep the pink bra because I really, really like them. Um, but let's move on to the next item. So this is her Whitney long sleeve crop top in intense beautiful blue. So this is a very similar blue to her first collaboration release with Gymshark. And at the time I was a fan of her, but I wasn't so into her products and um, like that I really cared that much. And then I saw how beautiful that blue looked on all the people that bought that product. And I was so excited to see that it came out again in this collection, maybe slightly different shade, but very, very close. And I'm a huge fan of long sleeve crop tops. So I wanted to give this one a try. This one I bought in a size small and it was $40. Ooh, okay. I love the material. It's, oh, it's very, 
buttery. Um, I don't know how it is compression wise just yet. I'm going to try it on. I would compare this material to the Align Legging that Lulu has and the material of Pure Lux from Fabletics. So just first impressions, super soft, super buttery. This color is really pretty. It's like almost like a periwinkle blue purple color. And then the back also has that beautiful detailing. And then it has a open back cutout. And then there's a little bit of ruching and scrunching at the end of the arm sleeves. Let's try it on. I'm gonna just put it on over this bra. The cutout feels weird on first impression, not gonna lie. So this is the, the back of it just has that cut out. My back fat is still not where I want it to be. Um, let me put on the leggings so I can show you the full body. Excuse the tag. So these are the Whitney high rise leggings in intense, beautiful blue. Um, also the detailing at the waistband here. She also came out with this legging in a ribbed waistline and personally I know that kind of waistline probably wouldn't be the most flattering on my body so um, I didn't get those. Uh, these are just like a high-waisted legging. There's a little butt scrunch which sounds really weird but it'll make my butt look better apparently and uh, I love the little cutout detailing that there is at the top here but let's see how these look. So they're very buttery, very lightweight Definitely not as compressive as I would like. I would probably wear these more for like a light weightlifting day, not so much a cardio day. Um, it it does, it's very flattering. Let's see the booty. It is a bit, I think it is squat proof, but I'm also wearing nude underwear, so I don't know. Um, I'm a little too short for this angle that I'm filming at, but it's very comfy, but not necessarily the level of compression that I personally like. Um, it is a very cute set though. And I did order this bra in this color just as an extra added piece to the collection. It is very, very comfortable. I will give her that. Like it is just super smooth, super comfy, just not as tight or compressive as I'd like. I got these in a size medium. Uh, the leggings were, the leggings were $50, which honestly, not a bad price for, for these leggings, not a bad price. Um, but yeah, so these size medium in the pants, which is probably the more true to size for me. Um, I also bought these in the biker shorts. So let's switch those out. So these are the biker shorts. They look like they're about four to five inches long. Um, I typically won't wear any shorts shorter than four inches just because I'm not trying to wear little booty spanks. So um, these are it. I'm gonna try them on right now. It's the same material as the leggings and these were 45, mm, $40. They were $40 for the shorts, um, also a medium. And let's see how they fit. So these are the shorts. Um, yeah, I would say they're about four to five inches uh, in seam. They are just as buttery as the leggings. I feel like they come up higher than the leggings do. Um, they are very comfortable. I haven't done, let's see, like a little run test, see if they start rising. Because I hate when my, my shorts start rising or running up. So far, it's riding up a little bit, but not the worst. Um, honestly, not the most flattering right here for me. Um, I do feel a little like overexposed and not the most confident in these. Uh, maybe I'll either keep them and hope that I look better in them in the future, or I may just see if someone else would want them more than me. It's yeah, I don't feel the most confident here. I feel more confident in the legging for sure. Overall impressions, the quality's great. Great job to Whitney. I am so proud of her and 
uh, I know she spends a lot of time and dedication on these projects and that doesn't necessarily mean that she's the one in control of the stock so I know a lot of people get frustrated with the fact that they can't purchase what they want to buy from her or from Gymshark and yes the shopping process is very stressful and unfortunately there are people who will buy it and sell it at double triple quadruple the price and try to scam people that are just trying to be uh followers and uh supporters of whitney but overall this collection great quality super soft and buttery um i have not received this bra in this color yet um i know i'll probably keep it um I still haven't fully decided on some of the other items just yet, uh, but I hope this video was helpful to you. Maybe I'm sure most of the collection is sold out by now because it sold out in four minutes, but um, maybe this can give you an idea for her future collections and um, give you an idea of how Gymshark sizing works on me, works on my body type, and if you have any questions about um, my experience shopping with the brand or how these items fit, definitely let me know. Uh, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye, thank you.